Previously on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, look at this, boys. We finally got it to work. Boys and girls, I should say, because I'm sure. Well, I'm not sure, but I probably have some female viewers. The time has come for those horse hunters to pay for what they did to us. I will make you pay for this. Fuck. Fuck what? I don't give a fuck what you call them. I want to know what they're fucking worth. One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. And hopefully we will have successfully made the Merhoyad remedy. Did we? Yay, look at that. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. And now, the continuation. So, we did some real good progress on the main story, which I was super excited about last time. That was very, very cool. But before we keep burning through it, I want to try to see if maybe we, this mission will work now. So, let's see if we can help Sir Hans. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favor, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. Well, you'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare-ass naked, and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite, but maybe you can do better. Right then, you've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on the show. All right, why the hell not? Shouldn't be too hard to beat her. I've got all my lucky dice, and I actually might not be very fair. But, you know, whatever. How about a game of dice, then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? <laughs> Let's see how good you are. Take care. I can't wait to see what you throw. Yeah, you probably... Probably aren't gonna have much luck, sorry. Hmm. Hey, that actually wasn't the best roll. We'll uh, roll again. That was a pretty lame roll, in fact. Probably the worst I've ever done with these dice. That one's slightly better. Thousand. We'll roll again. We'll push our luck. Come on, points. Is that a five? We'll push our luck. Probably a terrible choice. Come on, roll something good. Is that a one? Yeah, buddy. You get to roll again. We're gonna beat her. We got her on the ropes now, boys. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, now we'll leave it go. My, my. Some real competition at last. You know what, let's... Scored uh, 8,000 on that. May the best girl win. Get some more sixes. Those will help us win. Ooh, actually, we'll be able to roll it over. Nice! You show her. Won't take long to strip her down. All right, what do we got now? Uh, a straight. Two, three... Four, five, six. There we go. That's the way you show her, Henry. Looks like I'm the one who'll be doing the showing. Damn, Skippy. I could do with a good soak, too. Then strip off and hop in here. All right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. Seems fair. <sighs> Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, just give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Man, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cowpats less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? 
booze and wenches. Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? Have you heard the executioner has a sweetheart? You don't say. Who is she, a revenant? No, a regular mortal. Her name's Eliska. Eliska? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. She's the wife of a man he executed. Good Lord. Well, I suppose that's the only way you could get a woman. Uh, I killed a few humans. Quite right, too. The less of those fucking barbarians, the better. Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zdena here is very healing. Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. Hmm, looks like I'm getting out. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Okay, got a follow-up for that? Clara, my most favourite is bath made. But I admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pit, 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 pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. So where? Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat's house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hannish bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right, then. What kind of wine is it? A silver and red. In the cellar under the rat's house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good man. All right, is this bad move? I think I should probably take my, uh, this doesn't look like my stuff, but there's this key. I know. I'll dress up like Sir Hands. Oh, I already had my stuff. Well, that's okay. We'll put on all this, uh, Sir Hands clothing. There we go, look at that. Look rather, uh, rather fetching, I think. <laughs> All right, let's go get that wine. If memory serves, we got to go into the back of the armor shop, which is weird. It is a weird design flaw, in my opinion. Very hard. Whatever shall we do? I should probably crouch, huh? Try to be a little bit more sneaky. There's a guard right there. He doesn't seem to care. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Lord Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Lord Capon, eh? A likely story. You clearly don't know Lord Capon. Do you think he's going to leave in the middle of his merriment to go and get his own wine? Ha! <laughs> No, that doesn't sound like the young lord. I suppose he sent you for the Sylvan Red. The very one. Well, you'll leave some for Sir Hanush at least, won't you? <laughs> I'll try. Kind of dark in here. Anyway, let's find a pitcher. It's super dark in here. Wish I had a torch. Pitcher for the wine, there it is. I just gotta see which one of these it'll... All right, I assume that was the right wine. Let's get on out of here. What the? Hmm. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, look at that, we got it. So let's go uh, drink with Sir Hans. So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I <laughs> don't. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. Sir, you asked me to do it. Jesus, Henry. You'd be talked into just about anything. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Get it down, you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Sylvan red. It's not like that donkey's piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Sylvan red. The taste is unmistakable. Oh, yeah. 
me gloves, Sir Hans. I'm not like the other girls. I know, Clara. You you are, are different. <laughs> you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. <laughs> what? You, what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh, well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh. sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. <sighs> Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, s sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> That's not right. No, no, not weed and poppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you scrivency flop and groschen. <laughs> so, that much. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Uh, no. What was it she said? Sage something, something Damn. else, and roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the Upper Castle garden. You're a good listener there, Henry. Well, let's pop up to the Upper Castle and... Uh... Get our, some, ourselves some roses. All right, if I remember, it's back here. E I think so. It's always hard to tell at night. But then again, this mission wouldn't be very good during the day, now would it? All right, let's see if we can find something. There's some dandelions. She said something about poppies, knotweed, sage. I think she said sage. Poppies. Uh, roses. Just lots of roses. I didn't see any knotweed. Pick roses. What the hell are you doing here? I'd like some privacy if you don't mind. Come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! And are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> you shut your mouth, I'm not done with you! No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard! I'd like to see you try, arson balls. <laughs> Arson <laughs> balls! <laughs> love of God, stop it, both of you! Fucking hell! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Give him some quick jabs. Oh, a little knee to the face. Come we There we go. What the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. I, I didn't know. Get out of my sights. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Archie, wait! Oh. Phew! I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh. Drinking will be the death of you. Damn right! Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course! Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. What will you do with them, Sir Hans? <coughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. 
What do you think I should do with him? You're asking me what you should do with the lunatic who tried to drown you? Well, he was a bit drunk and jealous. And he tried to kill you? And then me? It's your decision. But if word gets round that Lord Capon let an insult like that go unpunished... I I suppose you're right. Well, a day in the stocks never killed anyone. Might do him good. (laughs) But we had some pretty good sports, eh? All right, looks like we completed next to godliness. Let's see if anything else pops up. Because I'm pretty sure uh, there's some more cool missions we get to do with Sir Hans now. So let's uh, get ourselves cleaned up, get our armor back on, and then go check it out. Oh, here's Hans. Maybe he'll have something for us. Greetings. What do you need? Sir Hans, I heard something about a tourney in Ratai. Yes, Hanush has decided to revive the tourney at the Upper Castle. It's only a bit of entertainment for commoners. A few fellows on foot bashing each other with various weapons. Well, you don't seem like your usual cheerful self, sir. Anything wrong? Yes, blast it. Hanush was on my back about what I'd do all day. So I told him I was busy dealing with very important nightly matters. I said I was training my future page in combat, initiating him into the art of swordsmanship and other battle skills. I didn't know you had a page. Well, that's just the thing. I don't. It was just something I made up on the spot to get him off my back. Only it seems I was a bit too convincing. Now, Uncle wants my imaginary page to demonstrate what he's learnt in the tourney. Mm. I can see how that could be a bit awkward. (sighs) That's putting it mildly. The old man is like a dog with a bone. He'll never let go. Unless... Yes, now I think of it. I'll tell Hanush I was training you. All you have to do is enter the tourney, batter the fuck out of all the other peasants, and everyone will be happy. Except for the losers, of course. Well, I suppose I can handle a few fellas one at a time. All right, then. Of course you can. That's the spirit. You have to put up some coin to enter, though. Naturally, I'll pay for that, so you don't go around calling me a pinch purse. Go and see the tournament master. You'll find him somewhere around the upper castle courtyard. He'll explain everything and sign you up. Run along now. And don't let me down, Henry. Remember, you have to demonstrate you've been trained by a master. Your wish is my command. Excellent. Afterwards, we'll drink to your glorious deeds. God be with you. Hmm. All right, so it looks like we have to do a tournament to uh, continue on with Hans' missions. Well, let's go do that. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Hanush's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Hmm. Axe and shield, I guess. Well, I like more hammers. Warhammer and shield. I know how to handle those. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. Farewell. Entering the arena now will be... Yera of Beneshoff, called Kipper, a mercenary by profession. And he will face Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzig Kobla. Let us wish the combatants luck. All right. Took Rent out in one hit. What the heck? This guy's tougher than Rent, is uh, what I'm hearing. Well, I mean, he does have the good sense to have a helmet and cloth on, which Rent clearly didn't have. Come on, guy. Surrender. There we go. The first victor in our tourney is. Henry of Skelets! Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. All right, Jesus buddy. Christ! Yeah, Kipper, take that. Entering the arena now will be Kolda Odatar, catchbowl of the Ratai Bailiff, who will measure his skills against Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzig Kobla. All right. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Holda of the tower, oh. you got some moves. Uh. 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 Ah. Being a dick, Kolda. If you beat me, Sir Hans will be very upset. And he'll poke you in the eyes. And probably also try to drown you. Or maybe I'm remembering that backwards. Ah, Master Strike. You gotta get some hits on this bad boy. Oh, he's good. What the hell? This guy's decent. Normally I'd just back him up into the corner and start bashing him, but... There, we actually did some damage to him. It's good with those blocks, though. Takes all my stamina down. Whoa! I'm in danger of losing this round. There we go. Take some of his stamina down. Finally. Whew, that was close. Who emerges victorious from the first round is Henry of Scallops. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. All right, Kolda, let's see if you're any better with a hunting sword. Kolda! I hate how it does that. That's the one thing I really can't stand about the combat in this game. How it doesn't matter if you manage your spacing really well and hit your strikes time. They'll always make it so you're, for some reason, you can't go forward and strike after you've done a block or something. Yeah, 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 Cold. I know. You're good at blocking. I learned that in the last round. That's why I'm not letting you out of the corner. Let's try some jabs. The jabs do seem to be pretty effective. <laughs> yep, jabbing was the way to go. The victor of the second duel is... Henry of Scalitz. Entering the arena now will be... Henry of Scalitz. From the company of Sir Radzik Kabla, who will measure his skills against Menhart, master swordsman from far off Frankfurt. All right. So I get to go up against a master swordsman. That seems fair. Let's see if jabbing works with the warhammers too. Ah, oh, what happened? Ha! Come on, buddy. Boop. Oh, he got me. He got me good. I don't want to lose. Because he's a master swordsman, not a master warhammersman, so... Given that's the weapon I chose, it'd be really embarrassing to lose. Also, I don't want to lose because I want to pass the mission. <laughs> I'd be willing to bet he's going to choose a sword. Oh, no! That was a master strike. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. I can't let him win this one, because then he'll win the whole thing. So, I'm gonna have to go with jabs, I think. Because the jabs seem to be the way to win, even though they're less exciting. This guy is good, though. It won't let me block any of his strikes. What the hell? We have a big draw in the second duel. He is 
That was lame. Can't believe I lost. This uh, no, year the Kipper wasn't the guy. It was this Menhard guy. How come how come <sighs> so bummed about that. All right, well, uh, have to see what Sir Han says about me losing for him. That kind of sucks. I'm glad you're here, Henry. What's happening, sir? Uncle Sahanush sent for me. No doubt he wants to give me another ear bashing about the error of my ways. And he said to bring you two. Oh, Sakra. That doesn't sound good. Indeed. I wonder what he wants to lecture me about this time. And you, because you're going with me. All right. We should get going then, shouldn't we, Sir Hans? The sooner we get it over and done with, the better. I suppose so. Right away. I put some of my old clothes in a trunk for you. I don't want you making me look bad in front of Hanush. But I see it wasn't necessary. You look as smart as any courtier. Thanks. I try my best. So I see. But you can come and get those clothes later anyway. They're a little worn, but they're as fine as anything you'll get in the county. Well, my ward and his, what shall we say, chaperone? Uncle. My lord. I hope we haven't dragged you away from anything too important. Not at all, Uncle. We like were just... Like boozing and whoring, for instance? Uh, Uncle, I can... Perhaps you were busy causing mayhem in the middle of the night and beating up my subjects. <sighs> no, it wasn't... Henry and I were just... Henry's as big a fool as you are. But he's not my ward, thank Christ! What the hell do the pair of you think you're doing? There are people in this fiefdom who work from dawn to dusk to put food on their tables and on yours. May I remind you? And then they look at you, Hans, their lord and master, and see a drunken layabout. That fellow you beat up last night was a guard, a new guard on the town watch. And he couldn't report for duty this morning because of his injuries. I had the bailiff here complaining, and could I tell him what I really think about this whole sorry affair? Of course not. That would demean me. And you too. So I had to sit gaping like a stuffed owl and listen to his grievances. Maybe you think because you're the lord here you can get away with anything. But you're sadly mistaken, you blockhead. A lord remains a lord only as long as he commands the loyalty of his subjects. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you the folk here are not exactly enchanted at the prospect of having you in charge. That was the last straw, Capon. One more of your escapades and I'll send you to your mother in Polna. For all I care, she can dress you up like a wench and marry you off to some Hungarian. Uncle, that arson bu Archibald tried to murder me. What was I to do? Oh, don't exaggerate. Well, I'm hardly surprised after you molested his girl and humiliated him. But I was only... Oh, I'm don't so whine, for I'm heaven's sorry. sake. It's about time you started taking some responsibility. I have a job for you. Maybe that will keep you out of mischief. Maybe. So Milota of Oleshna has turned up here. Do you know him? Isn't he Sir Bernard's cousin? He is. He came here with a remnant of his retinue to seek refuge. He's seriously wounded. What happened to him, sir? His fortress, Oleshna, was attacked by one Wolfren of Camburg. Milota pursued him almost as far as Neuhof and engaged with him. Unfortunately, the skirmish didn't end well for Milota. Wolflin of Camburg, that name is familiar. Yeah, he's kin to the Oleshna lords, too. A cousin of Bernard's and Melotta's. And their family affairs are a little complicated. None of my business, of course. I just wish they'd found somewhere else to thrash out their differences. Well, what do you want us to do, sir? Go and see Bernard in the courtyard. He got a report that Wolflin pillaged some other farms around Neuhof, and he's putting a squad together to ride against him. Mind your step, though. It's a family affair, after all. Maybe more to it than meets the eye. The important thing is to get that damn scavenger out of the domain. If possible, without bloodshed. I can't afford to lose any men over this business. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well, Uncle. Get to work, then. All right, looks like we got to do Robber Baron. That's the one I wanted to do. 
That's the whole point of me doing these missions here is I, I really wanted to do a robber baron. Huh? Hurry up, Hans. Let's keep moving. Somehow a fly got in here. It's bothering me. Go away, fly. There's so much stuff in this office, and yet it has to be sitting by me. No wonder. Well, Sir Hans, we fought as best I could, but it didn't turn out quite how you expected. I know, I know. I have to admit, I underestimated the opposition. I suppose all the lords wanted to look good, so they sent their best men. But you fought bravely and well. Uncle was quite satisfied with my... that is, with your performance. So everything is all right? Uh, sort of. I told him I was still working on you. And with a little effort, I'm sure I can still turn you into a warrior, the likes of which this province has never seen. Oh, I. Try it again sometime. Sooner or later, you'll emerge victorious. And then I'll spread tales of your mastery far and wide. That'd make a nice change. So, what do you think about this? Old Anna, she's right about one thing. It's time to stop chasing wenches and start chasing bandits. It'll be a bit of excitement for a change. I agree. I was worried you'd be upset after Sir Hannish's speech. Why would I? I finally have a chance to show Uncle what I can do. I can't wait. We'll ride there, hack those bastards to pieces, and celebrate with a good drink in the evening. That sounds like a good plan. Let's get to it. I heard some farm right, so hands. I just gotta murdered. find uh, so did I. Captain Robard. There he is. The or Bernard. Sir Hannes sent me, Captain. I'm to join your mission. And Sir Hans, too. Then mount up, youngster, and we'll move out. Alright, so we should be able to just mount up and get going. Where's my horse? There we are. Lord Capon, when we get there, I'd like you to hold back. You can forget about that. I'm not going to. Oh, these horses are going a little nuts. Alright, well, we're gonna skip the ride because I'm sure it's not gonna be that interesting anyway. So we'll pick it up when we get there. Sweet Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. It sounds a lot more convincing coming from you Fight than the stories my nurses used to tell me. I sent them to scout How are ahead. are supposed to deal Those with the bastards? bastards like will that? pay for this. They most certainly will. Let's go. Accident. Tablin, Looks like these two men were accidentally late. hanged. Get out of here, fly. Yes, Captain. What do we do now? First, we have to find out where those horses are holed up. According to the reports, they raided a few farms around here. So someone should go to those places and find out what they can. You should do it, Henry. My men would probably just startle them. All right, Captain. I'll do that. Where are the farms? One is uphill from Neuhoff, right by the woods. One here above the woods by the crossroads, directly north from our camp. We're gonna go to that northern, uh, northern farm. So we'll pick it up when we get there. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? Captain Bernard sent me. It's about that attack. Well, they came, took everything they could, and rode off again. I don't know what else I can tell you. We're trying to catch up with that gang, so I need to hear every detail you can tell me. What do you want to know? How many of them were there? Two or three. I'm not sure. My head's still in a spin. Which way did they go? I don't know. I wasn't watching. My husband made me hide indoors, and I only saw them through the window. So your husband was outside? Yes. He tried to parlay with them. What did they take? Not much. We haven't a pot to piss in, which I told them in no uncertain terms as soon as they came here. So you're telling me they came here... You told them there was nothing worth taking, and they just rode off again, without further ado. More or less. But just a while ago, you told me you were indoors the whole time. Ah, uh, yes. I was. Mostly. So, were you inside or outside? Did you talk to them or not? Well, like I say, it was confusing. I don't remember much. Look here, I'm not sure what happened here, but I can't shake the feeling you're holding something back. No! It's just, it all happened so quickly. I'm still bewildered from it all. I'm the one who's bewildered. But let me make one thing clear. Those bandits are led by Sir Wolfling, Baron of Camberg, and he's not just some common outlaw. If we don't catch him, there'll be hell to pay. So you better speak up, no matter what happened here. Lord Jesus. 
Why must we be persecuted so? So, what really happened here? First, promise me you'll get rid of them. That's exactly what I'm here for. They came a few days ago, took a pig and a sack of apples. We put up no resistance. I noticed one of them had an injured leg, so I offered to treat it for him. That was very Christian of you, considering they came to rob you. All I cared about was that they wouldn't kill us. Go on. What happened then? They rode off, and I prayed we'd seen the last of them. Only the same evening, they came back again. One of them had been wounded, and they wanted me to take a look at him. They gave me some coin and took me to their camp. In the morning, I came home again. So you know where they're camped? I'd like you to leave me there. I won't go to their camp, no. But I know of a place where you'll have a good view of it. That'll do me. I'm not going any further. If they saw me, I'd be done for. The camp's not far away in this direction. Thanks. And don't worry. I'll deal with those bastards. I pray you do. I will. I just said I would. Now let's go check them out. Hopefully it'll be something that Henry can handle on his own. That way we don't have to get uh, Looks like I found it. anyone killed. I'd better get back and report to Captain Bernard. Alright, well, we found it. So now we're gonna go back to Captain Bernard. And tell him what's all up. So, we'll pick it up there. I found that encampment. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. Is it far? Not really. How many men did you see? About 15. Shit. That won't be easy. Oh well, nothing to be done. Wolfen of Camberg must hang from the ramparts in Ratai. Wouldn't it be better to parley with them, sir? Parley with robbers? You must be out of your mind, lad. Well, sir Hannish ordered me to avoid unnecessary casualties. What are you trying to say? I could go and parley with Wolfen. Even if it comes to nothing, I could have a good look at his encampment. Hmm. Bit of spying could well be of use, all right. Wolfland's a conceited bastard. If he knows you come from me, he'll receive you just for a chance to tell me to go to hell. I'll give you a livery with my coat of arms, so it's clear you're my messenger. And you'll have to go unarmed. Thank you, Captain. I'll do my best. I hope so. And try and come back in one piece. I don't want to explain to Sir Radzig why I sent his favorite into a robber baron's camp unarmed. Alright. Well, I'm not going to leave my weapons here. But I'll take them. I'll unequip them. All right, let's go talk to Wolfen. I got a little sick of uh, running around in the dark, so I waited until day. So let's see what we can see. It's kind of a cool looking camp. Got some spiky barricades set up. Hey you, what do you want? I'm Captain Bernard's envoy. I'm here to parley. Why should I trust you? I'm unarmed. What harm can I do? Hmm. Well, that's true, and you are wearing Sir Bernard's colors. I suppose I should take you to Sir Wolfman. But if you try any tricks, you'll regret it, understood? You have my word. Alright, that seems fair. So where's Sir Wolfman? That's, that's probably him there. Rivers of blood. What do we have here? What's your name, boy? Henry. I'm a messenger from... I know. From my beloved cousin, Sir Bernard of Aleshna. Yep. So, what exactly is your message? Why do you want to hurt yeah. the lords of Aleshna? That bastard Malotta stole well, villages that belonged to my father. I was in Poland when my father died, and Malotta convinced everyone I was dead too. But you came back though, didn't you? Aye. I came back. But Malata bribed the priest to testify that my father made him a no deathbed confession. That bastard swore my father told him he was possessed, and so was his son. Me. So they think I rose from the dead and I'm a warlock. They won't hear my claim. That doesn't give you the right to go around plundering Sahanish's estates. Well, I never claimed to be a saint. All in all... I'm as much of a bastard as Malata is, but that doesn't mean I'll leave him in peace. Let's settle the matter the chivalrous way. You and me, man to man. The victor takes all. And the loser? There'll be no loser left alive. I like your spirit, young fellow. But why should I agree? 
If you win, my men will go and leave the loot here. But what if I win? I doubt Bernard will admit defeat on your account. You'll have to see, won't you? Maybe you'll gain nothing by winning, but at least you won't lose the respect of your men. You're a clever one. It seems a waste to kill you. But I accept your challenge. Ooh. Oh, so they shouldn't be able to kill this guy. He doesn't even have a helmet on. Get him, sir! Get him, sir! Kill the horse! Get him, sir! Kill the Get him, sir! There we go. Oh. Steel? I should be able to... Let's... Smack. Alright. Well, it appears that I've won, so let's go back and talk to Bernard. I've just come back from Wolfling, Captain. And in one piece, I see. That's something, at least, but I doubt you achieved anything. Depends how you look at it. Wolfling is dead. What? He's dead, Captain. I challenged him to a duel and won. I sent you to parley, not fight. But at least I don't have to put my men's necks on the line. So something good came out of your rash disobedience. But we'll still have to hunt down the rest of his gang. They're less of a threat now. They'll scatter without a leader. We'll take care of them. You ride to Ratai now and report to Sir Hanush. And next time, you do as I order. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. Take care now. He's all mad because I, I stole his thunder. But anyway, let's go back to Ratai. Well, let's see if Han, uh, Han says anything. God bless you. What troubles you? I went to Parley with Wolflin. So how did that go? He's dead. What? How did that happen? I challenged him to a duel and he lost. You challenged Wolflin of Camberg to a duel? Jesus, Henry, I don't know whether you're brave or out of your fucking mind. Maybe a bit of both. What about the others? Most of them scattered and Bernard can take care of the rest. Well now, this calls for a drink. I want to hear the whole story. I'm happy to tell it. God be with you. Alright, now let's go back to Rattay and tell Sir Hanish what happened. Hopefully he won't be mad like Bernard. All I know is that it seems like it never stops raining. Here we go, church, nice and dry. Greetings! What business have you? I have news from the camp, Sir Hanish. Speak. I persuaded Captain Bernard to let me parley with Wolflin. Bernard agreed. I'm surprised. Hmm. So was I. But in the end, we settled it the chivalrous way. I challenged him to a duel. Good God. Well, I always knew you had balls. Sometimes more than enough. So Wolfen is dead? Yes, and his gang scattered around the woods. Captain Bernard and his men are hunting them down now. I must say, Henry, after all that's happened recently, I'm glad something finally turned out well. So am I, sir. And I think you deserve to be rewarded for your efforts. Thank you, sir. God be with you. Ooh, the Magdeburg Curus. That could be an interesting addition to our armor. What do we wear now? Kutenberg 22, 23, all right. All right, so that's where we're gonna end it for today. I'm thinking next time we're gonna hit up some amorous adventures, but I'm not sure. I guess you'll have to stick around and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.